Hi Michael, this is my video for Working in Human Service Organisations, Assessment 1. I understand that the HSO organisation I have chosen can be covered by structure, context and culture. However, for the purposes of this video, I will be covering the structure of the organisation. For question 1, the human service organisation I had contact with in the past year was the Aged Mental Health Unit at Sunshine Hospital. It was for my mother who required treatment for mental health issues. Sunshine Hospital is part of the Western Health and their, their objectives are valuing and empowering our people, growing and improving the delivery of safe and high quality care and communicating with our patients, our partners and each other with transparency and purpose. I'll now answer question two. My mother in this situation was admitted to hospital as a voluntary patient the first time and an involuntary patient during her second admission. Overall, I was happy with the care offered for my mum. I was happy with the inclusive nature of the decentralised structure of the organisation. For example, the hospital organised family meetings every couple of weeks, both in person at the hospital or utilised telephone conference calls with the family when COVID restrictions were in place. So structurally, they adapted to the unco uncommon circumstances to ensure communication between our family and the hospital. A leading psychiatrist, social worker, occupational therapist, registrar and family members were all present during these consultations. As family members, we were encouraged to offer our perspectives on mum's history leading up to her becoming unwell and our, and our suggestions were validated. They also listened to mum's needs and wanted and came up with possible treatment options. For the third question, I would say that due to COVID restrictions, we were only allowed to visit at certain times, so I was hardly a fly on the wall inside the hospital. However, the times we were allowed to visit, the nurses, psychiatrists and the receptionists were warm, friendly and answered all, all or any concerns we had for mum. Uh, for question four, from a structural point of view, in terms of the layout of the hospital, the mental health unit itself was easy to access from the rear of the hospital. The courtyard had lots of trees, plants, comfortable wooden benches and felt private, which I think aided in mum's recovery. Mum had her own room, which I understand isn't always the case in hospitals, which I was grateful for. They also ran group activities and arts classes, which mum liked a lot because it gave her a sense of community. From a structural point of view, I was impressed with the hospital's recruitment, pro recruitment process as many of the staff from the cleaners, nurses, doctors all came from a diverse range of cultural backgrounds which I think, to help, which I think helped mum because she could relate to them coming from a Japanese background and migrating to Australia. Finally, for the fifth question, changes I would recommend relate to the admissions process when I first took mum to the hospital. Mum and I waited in the, in the emergency room for 13 to 14 hours before we spoke to a registrar who after 5 to 10 minutes decided Mum didn't meet the criteria for being admitted to the aged care mental health unit. I was adamant and a little bit emotional that Mum needed professional care and reluctantly the registrar agreed. Maybe having a psychiatrist, psychologist or social worker on hand who could better determine when, whether someone is acutely unwell and requires hospital admission would have made the process easier. Improve the whole structure of the admissions process and genuinely showed that they had mum's best interests at heart. Anyways Michael, that sums up the structure of the organisation from my perspective. Uh, thanks for listening to my video.